Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Um, my name is Alex and I'm one of the hosts of the Obsidian Collective and I'm here today to talk about my Hellenic polytheism because of course I am um, and so I wanted to show off my altars. Um, I have three altars and um, only one of them is very um, packed with things. <laughs> uh, I don't have my um, my like primary altar for like where I put my witchcraft stuff. Uh, right now I only have my worship altars. Um, so that's what this video is going to include. It's going to include my um, Apollo altar and my little alto altar, <laughs> excuse me, for Hermes. And um, I'm also going to show my Ares altar, but it really only has a picture frame um, with a picture of him. It doesn't have anything else because I have yet to get him a bunch of stuff. And um, I've noticed that uh, I have the strongest connection uh, with Apollo. And so when I go shopping, um, he wants things. He he lets me know he wants things. And so I have an easier time getting stuff for him than I do for Hermes and Ares, who don't necessarily tell me that they want things or... I like I don't have that connection with them where I'll like instantly know their energy compared to Apollo's. Um, so there might have been times when they want something, but I don't think so. Um, I haven't had anything like that yet. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna show off them and um, yeah. So this is my altar to Apollo, and um, I currently have the the blinds down uh, because don't want to dox myself, uh, which makes sense. Uh, anyway, but also it's nighttime. Um, and, uh, so basically on this altar, I have a liar. It's broken. Um, I tried to tune it and it broke. Um, and then I tried to change the string. Um, and that also didn't work out because I changed it and then I went to tune it again and it snapped. <laughs> and so this ring, uh, this string, excuse me, just does not want to be, uh, does not want to exist, I guess. It just, it just refuses. Um, so, but you can still play it. It's, it's out of tune and I am uh, way too scared to try and tune it again because of the fact that it broke the last time. So I just, I just, I just leave it. And I'm just like, here you go, Paulo. Um, I'm not going to play this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have a guitar and, and hopefully that's good enough. <laughs> Uh, this is a little, um, I don't know what, what it's specifically called, but it has uh, amethyst, and I believe this is carnelian, um, around um, this crystal, which I forget what it's called. I know, I know that's bad that I forget, but I forget. <laughs> and then there's moss, um, and this specifically I got for ace, um, it is meant to be um, good for emotional healing, and so I got it for him. And I keep it on Apollo's altar uh, because uh, Apollo helps us heal emotionally, and so it felt appropriate um, to have this on his altar. Uh, this is my pendulum that I use for communicating with him. It's not like... I think I believe it's a necklace that uh like it snapped so or like it lost the piece to like hook it um so you can wear it so I was like cool I'm gonna make it into a pendulum <laughs> um let's keep things cost efficient right so yeah I made it into a pendulum and it works perfectly fine as a pendulum um I have yet to find a pendulum that I really connect with like these tarot um cards um they're pretty much dedicated to Apollo because they have the crows on it, um, and Apollo loves crows um, and uh, and ravens, and so whenever I use it, I think of him, and I feel it's like it's really connected to him. I feel like he's claimed this deck, um, and so I was very connected to this deck when I got it. I saw it in the store, and I was like... I really love that deck, but I was like, I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. Um, but I just kept coming back to it. And that's how you know how that you are connected to something. If you can't stop thinking about it, you it, you have a connection with it. And so I got it. 
and uh, I love it and I get great answers from it, even though a lot of times it slaps me in the face. That's just tarot for you though. Um, I don't have this kind of connection with the pendulum that I do like with the tarot cards. Um, but I really want to find a pendulum that I have that kind of connection with, but it takes time to find it. And every time I go, um, out like shopping and metaphysical shops, um, I try and find a pendulum that I feel connected to, but I have yet to find one. Um, so hopefully soon. Um, and then I also have these bay leaves, um, because Apollo loves bay leaves. Um, that's an offering you can give him. So I gave him some. This is his statue, and uh, I love it very much. He's very beautiful, and I love him. Um, this is his offering cup. I offer water in it. Um, since I'm in a dorm, I can't offer incense the way I usually do. Um, usually, my offering every Sunday is incense, or it used to be. Um, but since I'm in college, um, I instead use a diffuser and diffuse orange um, essential oil. And I also offer him some water in this cup. Um, I used a little paint marker and I wrote on it, um, but it got kind of smudged off. But it said, praise Lord Apollo, he who brings me hope. And then it has a little like sunshine and it has a little fire and it says Apollo. Um, but it's just a cup I got. I, when I first moved into my dorm, I was like, oh, I don't, I didn't actually bring a cup to put water in. Um, and then I went to one of the uh, events on campus and they gave me this cup and some paint markers and they were like, oh, design your own cup. And I was like, oh, this is perfect. I can use it to give Apollo water offerings. Um, so I, I give them offerings of water. Um, and then I have some obsidian here because um, it's a window and obsidian blocks, um, you know, negative energy and is protective. And so I feel like having it by the window keeps me safe. Um, and then recently I got this citrine for Apollo. Um, and that was an offering to him. Um, and then these are all carnelian. He loves carnelian so much. Every time I am at like crystal shops, um, the carnelian, he loves it. He's like, I want that piece of carnelian. I'm like, okay, you want more carnelian? All right. Um, which was shocking that he actually liked this citrine. <laughs> um, he liked this citrine, and I was like, okay, great, because I, yeah, I always get him carnelian, and I'm like, I, I want to get you other stuff. Um, and then this is an offering bowl that I made um, with clay. It's not beautiful uh, because I made it <laughs> with clay, and I'm not an artist um, necessarily. I mean, I'm a writer, which is a form of artist, but um, yeah, it's it's not like what you'd see a professional like uh potterist I don't know, is that what you call them um but you wouldn't see like someone who's really good at pottery make something like this they'd make something really beautiful but uh, i still love it it has um i painted on it and i wrote i painted sunflowers and um i have his sigil that i made for him uh there's like a little sun inside but yeah um i really like it and it's for offerings but I don't, I don't ever really use it because usually I just offer him water. And um, these crystals, I was like, oh, if I'm ever overflowing with crystals on his altar, I can put them in here. But so far, I only have these few crystals for him because crystals are not cheap. <laughs> and so I get them for him for special occasions. And hopefully one day his altar is overflowing with stuff because I absolutely love him and I'd love to give him you know, the world, but, um, I, I am a broke college student, so I'm just doing what I can. Um, and this is a small little statue of him that I, I think is very cute. Um, it's, I got it also from a little shop and, um, I just love it. It's so adorable. Um, sometimes I'll put it next to this big one and I'll just be like small Apollo and big Apollo <laughs> and I find it funny. Um, but yeah, this canvas is just, um, it got all like messed up from water. I don't know how, I think, I, don't, I really don't know how the water got on it, but, um, it was just like a little, like, um, drawing I made of myself. And the point of the drawing was to draw like what you want for yourself. And so I drew myself, but I drew myself happy, um, with like the sun going on me. And cause that's what I want is I want happiness. 
and I want to heal emotionally and um, I just want to, you know, I, as someone with like DID and, and PTSD, I just, I want to heal. And um, so it felt appropriate to put that on his altar. Um, so yeah, that's Apollo's altar. It's on a windowsill and um, that way when the sun comes, it's on his altar. This is Hermes' altar. It's very small. Um, there's only a little travel altar on it, a little statue of him. Very small, not big like Apollo's, but um, I, I just haven't gotten him a big one yet. Um, and then I have a little offering cup for his water. I really love his offering cup, actually. Um, I got it. I think it's actually a candle holder, um, but I got it and I was like, this is pretty. And I'm going to make it into an offering cup and I'm going to offer Hermes water with it. So that's what I did. <laughs> and um, so I give him water with that. And his um, travel altar doesn't have anything in it, I don't think. Excuse me. Um, it has a like Canadian coin um, because I'm American and you can give um, Hermes foreign currency as... Um, as an offering, so I, I found this Canadian coin and I gave it to him. Um, I offered it to him, and then I also designed the inside of his his altar, um, travel altar, with a little drawing of him that I made, and um, like some strawberries because he likes strawberries, and um, yeah, I think it's very cute. I love the inside, and I I really want to get more stuff I can put on his altar. Um, but I definitely, every time I go to shops, I'm like, Hermes, if you want anything, let me know. And, um, he never, <laughs> he never really tells me anything, I guess. I don't know. Um, but I hope I can find more stuff for him, uh, because I'd really love to get him more stuff. Um, but on this, on this altar, uh, it's just, I also have my diffuser here <laughs> and I give, um, Apollo orange essential oil with this. I just, I'll put it water in it and I put some drops of orange and then I offer it to Apollo. And so that's also where that is because the plug is not near the windowsill. So I have to leave it here. Um, and I checked with Hermes that that was okay. And he was like, that's fine. So yeah, it's, it's here. And then right here is um, Aries's altar. Um, I don't have anything but a picture of him. Um, and that makes me sad. I really want to get more stuff for him. But he also doesn't really request stuff. And Or like when I ask him, hey, would you like this? He's always like, no. <laughs> um, I think he's very like, he likes the best of the best. And I have yet to find the best of the best for him. Um, but I really want, one day I want to get him, like, a really cool, like, um, dagger. Um, I, I tried to offer him, um, an athame once, but, uh, he did not want the athame because it's not really, like, a tool used for, like, in battle. It's, it's just, like, a ritual tool. He was like, I do not want that. And I was like, okay, I respect that. Um, so I hope one day to get him a dagger and, um, I've always wanted to get him a piece of bloodstone, but... I haven't yet to find a good piece of bloodstone. Like, I find, like, I have not found one that is good um, and that he, like, approves of. But I really hope that one day I do because I really want to get one for him. Um, but, yeah. So, anyway, those are my altars in my dorm. I said I was going to do this video a while ago, and I have uh, yet to do it. So, I just decided to do it now. I felt like... It was acceptable to do it now because I got Apollo a piece of citrine and I was like, now it is the time. <laughs> I just added that one piece of citrine and I was like, now I can do it. <laughs> I don't know. My logic is kind of weird. But um, yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I hope in the future and when I make another one of these videos I have more on Hermes's altar, more on Ares's altar, and uh, if I eventually ever worship Hades um, fully because I really want to um, and I know I should just jump into that but I I don't even have anything for Ares. I don't want to just jump into worshiping Hades and not have anything for him because that would I'd feel bad. But uh, yeah, uh, 
thank you for watching. And, um, I don't know, may, may the gods smile on you, I don't know. <laughs> Drink water, take your meds, and um, remember that you are loved.